Hi Aquarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel. Welcome back and thank you very much for your likes and shares. I hope you have enjoyed your readings. The romance reading is out now as well. And for anybody that has uh, landed on this channel, welcome and I hope you will enjoy this reading. Remember, we have just gone into autumn, the fall equinox and the May bonf, uh, f uh, festi uh harvest. Okay, that's uh, a festival. May bon is the Wiccan festival for harvesting and autumn. Okay, beautiful. And we also have two moons this month. We have a full moon on the 1st of uh, October and a full moon on uh, the 31st of October on uh, Halloween and um, that's why I'm working with the Witches and the Pagan deck and I'm also using the uh, Angel Feather and the Queen of the Moon Oracle and the Answer of the Angels so that said please like and share and sub if you're not uh, subscribed yet i do appreciate it and subscribe and hit the bell on all there is a video um, out there to show you how to do that because you have to also change the settings in youtube and in your mobile device your first card that you have is strength and that is uh, Monday the 28th and this reading is from the 28th to the 4th of October look how beautiful you are as strong as a lion and a bear now the bear I never see that in an other deck with the lion but these are one of the two major strength uh, animals okay you are in your strength perhaps uh, you realize that you are stronger than you thought you were and she has tamed the lion through patience and love and she's holding a feather up and saying thank you perhaps you might be saying thank you as you might have guided somebody into their own strength you could be meeting a Leo as this card represents Leo perhaps you've met a Leo and um, you uh, they were always very fiery because they're a fire sign and they were roaring and they've met you they fell in love with you and whoa they have calmed down because you are strong you are showing your strength perhaps your patience and your love and then we have the king of cups perhaps you might have met a leo with cancer in his chart or a cancer with leo in their chart anyway the king of cups represents cancer but don't forget um, Scorpio or Pisces this is a caring nurturing loving man okay Aquarius you've got two people already and I see that you've got the strength card twice so Leo is quite prominent in your reading perhaps this Leo um, if you haven't tamed them <laughs> um, might be caring and nurturing and loving but you could be walk, uh, perhaps you might be hooked up with one of these two characters perhaps they were somebody in the past that you loved and cared about because we've also got the six of cups so you might be thinking of a cancer or a leo the six of cups means that or means that you be you might be thinking of the past and good memories somebody might be coming back from the past this could be a Leo or a cancer you know what resonates with you they could be bringing you a gift as well perhaps you've been dreaming about them to join forces with them or partnering up with them as you have also the seven of cups so you've got the six of cups and the seven of cups you, this could be dreaming or thinking about a home where you've lived in or a job that you've been in a love or a study or uh, perhaps 
to get the to 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 the truth of things or a wish or something tangible this could be a job you are dreaming big and good for you dreaming big motivates us to actually get into action to do it like the fire sign okay that means action 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 and you can see her walking she's not calm she is active good and here she's saying thank you for coming together her plans coming together I think your plans are going to come together or your wish you've been dreaming about this and I am um, that you haven't got the wish card here but I think your wish is going to come true for a lot of you remember I'm reading for thousands of people because you have the two of cups so you have met your soulmate or you're already hooked up with your soulmate and you ha ha have been strong in um, you've been a strong partner perhaps you are the strength in this relationship like I said perhaps you have brought peace in this relationship this union and you are totally in balance you've met your soulmate and you might find out or have a different perspective this week well fire is definitely in your chart if it isn't a Leo it could be an Aries because you've also got the king of fire and like I said you are coming into action you are going for what you want this could be a new beginning partnering up in business or in love um, with the uh, water sign fire sign um, or even a an air sign and that is Libra because you've got the Empress so you've got Aries but don't uh, un, uh, don't forget Leo and Sagittarius because they're fire but the King does represent Aries and you've got the Empress so um, that is Libra so there is a new beginning you are going for this new beginning this could be as a couple but also mm, coupling up with somebody realizing that you found your soulmate and you're going for this new beginning perhaps you might might be dreaming of a home living together that could be it as well you do you you are definitely more determined you've got determination this week and mot you're really motivated you've been patient long enough you want what you are dreaming about good on you you have to take action in order to make your dreams come true it won't fall out of the he heavens okay so you're if you're not meeting up with a fire sign you are taking uh, a page out of their book they stand for determination action passion creativity logic the king of wands so he goes for what he wants he's been thinking about it he's been planning he's been very strategic and he's taking action and he's going for this what he wants so that could be you if you're you are not hooked up with a fire sign or if you are not meeting a fire sign you if you are hooked up with a fire sign or a water sign or a air sign Libra mainly um, you might find out you're pregnant three is creativity after all okay you've got the Empress the Empress means fertility so the ground is fertile now for positive things to start so that you can reap the rewards later at a later date because the Empress has green fingers every seed that she sows um, she nurtures it like a baby so you could be finding out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant take precautions um, if you are too mature to get pregnant then you might hear of a pregnancy or birth of a new project this could be your project that you are investing your 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 naturing your caring side and you uh, it's your baby okay 
so you might start a new project because you're coming into action and you will nurture it until it is time to harvest look at all the fruit it's the time is ripe to harvest perhaps you've already been doing this and now you can harvest your beautiful so that so basically the bottom line is you somebody might be coming back from the past that you had fond memories of and you're partnering up because you know they're your soulmate or you might be partnering up with this person uh, to start a business boom it's going to bring in fruit time and time again it's going to bring in the productivity the um, what you call it um, the produce it's going to be um, you've got it's like you've got the meatest touch so everything you touch you will turn to gold it will bring results time and time again for the angel card you have love is in the air well boom there you are partnering up and the people that are here the romance angels are here to inform you that there is an interesting development about to take place in your love life now if you are hooked up there could be something interesting in your relationship that something could be happening like you might have lived together you might be getting engaged or you were engaged and you're getting married or you might have been married for a couple of years and now it's time for children so you might be finding out you want to start a family or that you're pregnant so love is in the air woo have a look at your romance reading see whether it resonates this is more like a love reading or a romance reading than um, a general reading and you have number nine something is coming to an end and a new beginning Wow assessing and this is the first quarter moon assessing it is time to assess your current position you must make sure your blind spots are revealed and that you are honest with others and yourself sometimes the hard decision is the best decision you should be able to assess and move quickly based on that assessment so if you have said no in the past I don't want to start a family I don't want to get pregnant because I'm more career orientated now you might be looking back and thinking when you were younger you wanted to become a mum instead of a secretary or a model or whatever and now you are ready perhaps the bio clock is ticking and you do want to start a family so love is in the air and it can happen you and we are entitled to change our mind as we always go we go up and down we change our mind we sometimes we we are career orientated and then we we mature and then we decide otherwise we want to do something else travel or have a baby or start a business something else and the angel said get more information so this could be with regards your seeds the seeds that you wish to sow this could be about a business you need more information to start the business and on how to start the business do you are there any specific laws that you have to follow for instance uh, do you have to draw up contracts if you're partnering up with somebody in the business that is that kind of information is that the angels are saying get more information I think it is amazing and if you are starting a business then good luck I hope it will go well let me know if you are what are you longing for from the past I think you're going to do something that you've been thinking about that you that you wanted to do when you were younger and you're going to bring it into the here and now 
I think it's fantastic. I wish you a lot of success. Take care and God bless. Please like and share.